I think basically the attitude towards science, this is the same in all countries, but there is a great difference in the speed of scientific research, the resources and the conditions. So if I compare Hungary with the Western countries, uh, the support for science is much, much lower, and this is general for also the other East European countries. So nowadays the modern biology needs a really high performance, uh, rather uh, expensive equipment and platforms, technical platforms. And I cannot say that this does not exist in Hungary. There are this kind of uh, platforms. However, not everything is available, for example, at the same place, or the performance is not the same as in the richer uh, Western countries. So it makes the science a little bit more difficult, slower, and less performant. And therefore, these countries have a big problem with the young generation, because it can lead to the uh, brain drain of the young people. They can go to the Western European or American laboratories where they can work faster and more effectively than in these countries. And this is a danger for Europe, so we have to do something in this respect to support the science and uh, the fate of these young people. So the program with uh, L'Oréal and UNESCO started about 20 years ago when the first discussion came and uh, everybody realized that there is a problem. There are very few uh, women scientists uh, who have uh, a higher position after the postdoc period. And even the postdoc period was already a questionable uh, time for the women scientists. Uh, I think the L'Oréal UNESCO program made really a, a change and afterwards it started uh, to be evaluated by different uh, funding organizations, fellowship committees, uh, how to increase and, uh, the number of, of women scientists and uh, how to make a gender balance. And now these days it's absolutely general, but still we are not at the end because uh, still we have to do a lot of things because the, the women are still not uh, uh, at that position what we expect and they are in minority. Uh, I think uh, even personally I could see that some very, very talented uh, young uh, uh, women scientists had to decide what to take, to be a mother and staying at home or to make a career. So which is very important to make a career plan for these young uh, persons, uh, to make an optimal plan how they can do really performantly the science as well as uh, uh, doing the classical uh, mother uh, type of work. And uh, what is very important that the girl should have a lot of confidence in themselves that they can do what they want to do and they can uh, succeed even as a mother, wife and a scientist. And, and this is very important because sometimes the girl uh, do not consider themselves as talented and they can do perhaps all kinds of uh, uh, challenges, but they can do what one has to start and then they can find a solution and they will do it.